I'm Jennifer Forby and I'm an assistant professor here at Boise State University and what we're doing here today is assessing quality of habitats and we're doing it in a way that people haven't done it before and that we're doing it at a much larger scale and we're integrating multiple features of the habitat at the same time so we're sort of getting a perspective from an herbivore, an animal that eats plants, and seeing how they view their habitat. We're also getting a perspective of the predator at the same time of how they might view a small rabbit running around in the sagebrush steppe as whether or not it's accessible to them or not. And with using small unmanned aerial vehicles, we are able to assess the habitat at a huge scale that's never been done before. And because of the resolution of the cameras that we put on these small aircraft, we are able to look at individual plants and not only see their structural quality, but also their dietary quality. So we use near-infrared spectrometry to get a biomarker of how palatable or how tasty a plant is for a given animal. So in addition to using these small unmanned aerial vehicles, we're also using LIDAR. And what LIDAR does is it gives us three-dimensional structure of individual plants. And so that's been very valuable because we can get on the ground information about quality and then we can also get sort of an aerial view of quality and we can do that at the same time and really get a better view of how animals perceive their habitats in terms of quality. So that once he takes scans from multiple vantage points we can stitch those together using the known locations of the reflectors and get a 3D perspective of the entire mound. The animal that we're studying today is the pygmy rabbit and the reason we're interested in this animal is it's pretty unique in that it relies, especially in the wintertime, 100% of its diet is sagebrush. And so here's an animal that relies on a single resource, the sagebrush plant, for both cover, to hide from predators, to hide from severe temperatures. So it's out in freezing cold and in the middle of the summer moving around and trying to find food. And then it's feeding on a plant that does not want to be eaten. So this is the entrance to one of the, the burrows and pygmy rabbits are one of the few that actually dig and burrow underground and they tend to have their burrows in these mounds with looser and deeper soil so that they can get down in there and then when they come out they look for their favorite food and there are these little clip marks that we're counting um, on the sagebrush where they actually nip off the ends of the branches that they eat. We are trying to get the perspective of um, habitat from, from essentially a predator's point of view of how well they can see um, a small rabbit. So our little box represents a small rabbit. It's about the same size. Um, and so we're trying to look at how well concealed that animal is. And so different habitats will have different levels of concealment. This is the cover board that we're using to calculate the aer aerial concealment with both the UAVs and then also with uh, the on-the-ground fine scale measurements. So by placing them on the ground underneath sage or at designated points that we have out here at the study site, the UAV is able to actually capture the amount of vegetation that is obscuring that surface. The opportunity that our students are able to get from Boise State is that not only are they integrating multiple disciplines, so we're doing remote sensing, we are doing chemistry, we're doing physiology, we're doing animal behavior, and we're also using our information for management of habitats and wildlife. So they're getting a really broad perspective and very integrated perspective on, on how to do science. In addition, we share our information with the public. So what's really great about what we do is that it's local. It's a habitat that people in Idaho care about. And so not only are we assessing how to preserve quality habitats for a small pygmy rabbit, but how to preserve that for all the users, all the public who use these lands.